Okay, so, oh, don't stick your nose in the water. The, we woke up this morning. We had a, a couple goats that we had brought in that were already pregnant um, when we when we got them, and so we weren't, you know, one hundred percent sure of the uh, the due date. We knew it was going to be soon, and um, you know, with wheels passing last night, I certainly didn't think it was going to be this morning. And sure enough, um, went out to the barn this morning, and there was a couple of baby goats born. Uh, first time mom, um, she cleaned them up, she cleaned them up, um, somewhat, but she wasn't spending much time, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a chilly day today, but again, you got a brand new baby goat, the mom's got to really fully lick it off and puff it up, and, and it's got to get its first meal, I, I, I still think these guys haven't gotten their first meal yet, and, uh, so, we got them brought right in, and immediately kind of took their temperature, temperature was real low on both of them. Um, but there's a little trick for that and uh, what we got here is we got them in a, a plastic bag a plastic trash bag and we got the water at what their appropriate body temperature would be so you put them in the trash the plastic trash bag and um, you, you get them right in the water it's almost kind of like an incubator for them to try to get their body temperature up to what it's supposed to be. You gotta try to get their body temperature up, you know, more or less as fast as possible. We think they were born probably about mm, an hour and a half, two hours before we found them. But if the mom doesn't lick them off and really warm, um, you know, what? If, if, the, if the mom doesn't lick them off and really kind of puff them up, then um, so they, they, they're ready for a meal. They're ready for a meal, they really, they're hungry. So, but if, if the mom doesn't, you know, clean them up and puff them up, then they can get chilled real easily. See, he's so hungry. And uh, so that's kind of what we had happen here is she didn't really get them dried off as best as she should have. And we got, like I said, about a couple hours probably after she had them, their umbilical store cords were still, you know, pretty wet. Their, you know, legs were still wet. And um, brought them in, temperature's low. Got them in this plastic bag now, and as soon as I get them in here and their body temperature starts coming up, they uh, start coming to more, uh, more and more active. Well, right now we're putting a little bit of like molasses and stuff uh, on our fingers just to put on the inside of their mouth. We also use something called kid paste, which is a vitamin. We got this cr heat cranked up in this bathroom, um, but uh, but yeah, so this is actually pretty good because um, they're. They're, they're increasing their activity level. Fantastic to see that. Uh, so yeah, you know, these guys are hungry and we're warming them up in this bath here. Uh, we put this plastic around them to get their body temperature up to where it should be. Um, I can't really give them their first meal until their body temperature is appropriate because their digestive system won't work properly and it can do more harm than good. So that's what we're working on now is getting their body temperature up so that I can give them their first meal.